Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to Arby's, which is something I just never thought would come out of my mouth. I am not a big Arby's fan. I know I'm coming at this so biasly, but they typically have a lot of like roast beef and stuff like that. So they have a lot of like, I guess it's like, it's just like ro roast beef on a burger bun. And then they have like a bunch of like roast beef sandwiches and they have like a brisket house, like a smokehouse brisket. I'm just like not about it. None of that stuff sounds good to me, but they just finally came out with a burger. I'm on the website right now and it says, finally the burger you've been waiting for. It says that there's too many bad burgers out there. That's why Arby's created this burger with Wagyu. I'm gonna put the word right here. I don't know how to pronounce that at all, but with this specific beef, it's cooked medium well with a hint of pink. Limited time only at participating US locations while supplies last, made with a blend of Wagyu and ground beef. So we're gonna go give it a try. I'm hoping that my Arby's has it. If not, I live in Nashville. There's plenty of other Arby's here, but we're gonna go give it a try. Let's go to Arby's. Yeah, I'm so biased. I just, I don't know. And if I'm being honest, I don't even know if I've actually ever had a roast beef sandwich. I guess you can't really call it a burger. A roast beef sandwich from Arby's. I've never actually had one, but it doesn't look appetizing. I don't know, maybe I should give one a try. Maybe not in this video, but maybe I should do like a whole Arby's mukbang, if you will, because I just don't come to Arby's a lot at all. I don't know. Maybe I won't do it in this one though. Hi, could I have the steakhouse burger, um, the meal with that? Let's do, um, sorry, the deluxe steakhouse burger meal. Let's do uh, curly fries with that. Let's do the small. Could I have a Diet Coke? Yeah. Will that be all? Yep, that's it. Thank you. You're welcome. Yeah, and I'm gonna also be doing a whole series on like first time fast food places. Like for example, I'm literally looking at Hardee's. I think that's how you say it. Um, like I'm literally looking at Hardee's right now. I have never been to a Hardee's and I don't know, I feel like it's about time that I finally go. I feel like I should do like a mukbang video for Arby's because there's so many, I mean, there's so many items on that menu that I've never tried before because I just don't go to Arby's. And then Hardee's, never been there before. Culver's, never been there before. So like there's gonna be multiple videos this month where I'm just like trying this for the first time because I just haven't been there. I'm excited. What if it's horrible? No, I can't imagine it's, it's a burger. Can't go wrong, I don't think. Thank you so much. You're welcome, have a good one. Yeah, you too. And you're so sweet, keep oh, it up, oh, always be sweet. Thank you. Have a good one. Oh, you too. <laughs> that was so nice. I love that. I was gonna say the same about her, cause I really liked her energy and she had this like really beautiful Southern accent. Aww so many compliments today and it's really nice like I went into altered state because I had to make some returns and the manager was like you are so nice to like nice to speak with she was like do you want a job I will hire you right now and I was like oh like I already have a job but thank you so much she's like are you sure she's like I will hire you right now you can start tomorrow and I was like thank you it was just so because we were just having such a good conversation I don't know wish me luck I don't know if this is gonna work at all, but I literally put like like a gift bag behind my camera to give my camera a little bit of shade um, Because I've noticed with the Tennessee heat which I've talked about so much in my videos But it's just because it's so real and it actually makes it very difficult to film um, Because it's 90. I know it was like a high of 95 today. Yeah, it's 92 degrees right now outside. That's crazy. And so my camera, I'll like film and it will get so hot. Like, like almost like I can't even like take it off the tripod because it is so hot. I don't know, I put like a little gift bag maybe to give it some shade. Hopefully it doesn't like mess with the audio at all. I don't know, we will see. But I did get a drink. I got a Diet Coke. It's just my favorite. I just, I don't know. You can't go wrong with the Diet Coke. And then let's try out this burger. So we're gonna see it at the same time. Oh, 
Okay, this looks really good actually. What the heck? Okay, this looks amazing. Apparently there's like sauce on it. This is what it looks like. There's a lot of lettuce on this. Um, let's see what it looks like layer by layer. It's the bun. There's definitely some sort of sauce on there. I'll have to like look up what kind of sauce it is with cheddar and that burger looks very good. It actually like, this doesn't look like, like you know how when you go to like McDonald's and stuff, like it just looks like the burger was like, sort of just like popped in the microwave, you know what I mean? Um, it doesn't look like that. This looks like a burger that you'd get from a restaurant. Um, like if you were to go somewhere and sit down. Let's see what kind of sauce are they, or would they not tell us what kind of sauce? It just says burger sauce. So I don't know what that means. Hold on, let's look up what sauce is on Arby's burger. I don't know if they'll tell us. It says it's a horsey sauce from Arby's Blunts the Bite. What? Arby's Blunts the Bite of the horseradish with plenty of mayonnaise. Okay, so it's a mixture of horseradish, mayonnaise, and sugar. We're gonna go with it. I don't like mayonnaise and I don't like horseradish, so. And then I also went ahead and got some curly fries. These are, this is the one item that I do like at Arby's. This is what this whole video is all about. So we're gonna go ahead and give this a try. I miss the onions. Yep, I miss those. I'm usually not a fan of onions, but weirdly enough, I didn't taste them. There's so much flavor with just that one bite. That was really good. Wow. What's interesting about this, this tastes like I actually got it at a sit down restaurant. If I went to Applebee's or if I went to whatever sit down restaurant or like a local place and they put this on my plate, I would be okay with it. Like I would be fully convinced that they made this in the back. This does not taste like a fast food burger by any means. The sauce is actually really good. There is so much flavor with this. Mm-hmm. What the heck? Okay, seriously, this is so good. I am, um, oh my gosh, and there's pickles too. How did I miss all this? Oh, cause it was underneath the burger. Yeah, it has onions and pickles. This is so good. And honestly, I don't like horseradish and I don't like mayonnaise, but I love this sauce. Wow. I think for as long as Arby has this burger, I think I'm gonna be an Arby's fan. Maybe I should do like a little Arby's taste test or like a little mukbang or something where I try out some of their other items. Cause if this is, I, like I said, I don't like horseradish and I don't like mayonnaise. So if I love this burger, maybe because I don't like roast beef, maybe I really should try Arby's. Yeah, guys, that is so good. What the heck? I'm actually really impressed. I mean, this is not something that you can eat in a pretty way. Like, there's no graceful way to eat this burger, especially with all of like the lettuce and everything. Like everything's falling out. The sauce is like dripping on my face. There's no elegant way of doing it, but that is so good. I would absolutely give this a 10 out of 10. If you guys do not like Arby's, you should try this burger. If you guys like burgers at any other place, if you guys like, literally, yes. Like if you order a burger at a restaurant and you like it and you want a restaurant quality burger, this is the place to do it. And how much did I even pay for that? Wow. Like I said, a restaurant quality burger for less than $10. This was $9.49 for a small burger meal. And I'm pretty sure I got the deluxe, I think, or at least I said deluxe. I'm very happy. Yeah, like I said, there's no real graceful way of eating this. I'm so happy. That's incredible. I'm really, really, really just blown away. Definitely make sure to get napkins. 
because like I said, we'll get a little, a little messy. But that is about it for this video. Thank you so much for coming along the ride with me to go try out this burger. Um, we just did this video. I, my last video was trying Taco Bell's new Mexican pizza. If there's any other videos you guys want to see, comment that down below. I do have another Starbucks video coming up soon. I know you guys love those videos where I let the Starbucks baristas choose my drink for a whole week. So that video will be out, but it's gonna take like a full week to just like get the video filmed. And then like probably like another like three days to collect all the footage, send it over to an editor, me make final, stuff and get it all uploaded so that video will be coming soon any other videos you guys want to see like i said i really want to try like culver's i want to try hardy's i want to try cookie crumble because i've never had that before so comment that down below let me know what you guys want to see i love you and i will see you all later bye